I just want 13 and 14 here. Um, characteristics of a graph. So for both of these graphs, just to let you know, the domain and range are always the same thing. What's the domain and range here? Yeah, just positive infinity. Yeah, so the domain, negative infinity, positive infinity. The range, how far down does the graph go? How far up does it go? Same idea. Negative infinity, positive infinity. Now, another way of writing this is you can put this down. A, R, N. A, R, N. Does everybody know what that means? Nope. It means all real numbers. All, all real numbers. I think Tim helped us out with that yesterday. Uh, so ARN, all real numbers. You can put down all real numbers if you want, or just write down ARN. Uh, I'll accept either of these on the uh, quiz on the quiz on Monday. You can put either one of those. Okay. Um, for 13 here, what is my x-intercept here? Where does it cross the x-axis? At negative 2. Yeah, right there. So the x-intercept here is negative 2, 0. What about the y-intercept? Where does it cross the y-axis? Positive, Positive 1. Good. So we write that as 0, 1. What is my zero here? X equals, remember, your zero is always your x-intercept. Where does it cross the x-intercept? Yeah, so x equals negative 2. x equals negative 2. Good work, good work. Let's go ahead and do that one, the same idea for 14, uh, and then we'll do in behavior for each of these. That's okay. Everybody else either paying attention or... Uh, taking advantage of their break. So, what is your x-intercept for 14? For 14, yeah. Is 2. What is my y-intercept? It's going to be 4. 0, comma. What is my 0 would be 2. Yeah, x equals 2. That's my 0. zero when, you, when you talk about zeros, zeros are always written as like x equals. X equals. Okay? Now let's go ahead and zoom in on this for in behavior because this is kind of the toughest part. Um, we talked about it earlier this week, but I know at times it can be a little difficult. So this says as x increases. So... Where is x increasing, on the left or on the right? Where is x increasing, on the left or on the right? On the right, notice my x values are going up. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those are increasing. So that would be as x increases. So let me ask you this. On the right side, is my graph going up or down? It's going up. So how do we put up? You know, well, I, I'm just going to put, yeah, I mean, we can put down up. I'm going to show you, or positive infinity. Yeah, positive infinity. So you can put up, or you can put a positive infinity. All right, as X decreases, so that's on the left side, because it's, again, X is going down over here, right? Negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, all those are negative. What's the graph doing on the left side? It's going down. Right or negative infinity. Good work, good work. So you got up is positive infinity, down is negative infinity. So let's take a look at this one right here for the behavior. As x increases, so he said as x increases is the right side. Are we okay with that? What's going on? Uh, if I move right on my graph, where am I going? Down. What would that be? Negative infinity, good. As x decreases, so as x is decreasing, so I'm moving left on my graph, right? So as I move left, where's my graph going? Up, which is positive infinity. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
Uh, again, that's a tough concept to, to master. If you need to, go back and watch the videos for in behavior. Um, other than that, you can always feel free to ask questions to your teachers.